Hi, I'm David Clemen on behalf of Expert Village, and today we're going to paint with acrylics the female figure. Okay, and finally we're going to fill this background in, which is a... Uh, it's, it looks, if you first glance, it looks like it's just black, but it actually is, has a blue tone to it. Mostly the blue is on this side, and then this is like a dark, um, not a navy, well, yeah, I guess you could say navy blue. So I'm going to use this blue here, and I'm going to get one of my bigger brushes. I'm going to wipe the water off on my jeans because it's going to be too much water. I'm going to take the blue, I'm going to mix this in. And I'm going to go on this side first. And with the style that I've been using so far, I can just kind of fill this in. Okay. And it can be very loose because everything else has been very loose and suggestive. Like this. And actually, you can do some pretty cool things with the background and give it a lot of texture. If you just kind of bounce the, the brush around, it will give you an interesting background anyway. Kind of a uh, you know, 20s feel, like velvet walls and things like that. And then for the other side, you can go even darker and just mix in the blue sporadically. And then all of a sudden, this painting is starting to really, really come to life. She's starting to pop out of there as well. And see, when you get to this side, the hair will almost disappear into the background. So you don't really know where the background begins and the hair ends and vice versa. Okay, I'm coming here. And that's my neighbor honking his horn. It's like a celebration beep for the painting is almost complete. And so we'll continue on until I have this finished. Just be careful around the edges of your figure. You don't want to get uh, on the wrong side of that. Because then it'll look like you just kind of painted over it. You want to kind of... It's almost like you want to trace it. And this side you can get a little nutty with. Because you're already... Yeah. And... You don't want the background to eat up the hat either. And then when you get into these really tight areas, just go slowly. But you can kind of feel the curves of the body with the brush. And then kind of blend it back in. And there is your finished painting.